Okay, welcome to the GetResponse homepage. This is the welcome screen that you will see uh, whenever you log into your email account. And in GetResponse, we call that the dashboard. Um, if you'd like to get to the actual GetResponse homepage, we can click on this GetResponse logo right here, and that will actually take us to the real homepage. Um, the big feature right here on the homepage is the Help button. When we click on that, we will be taken to the help page where we can have video tutorials, frequently asked questions, a glossary, along with all the live uh, assistance that we can use um, to contact GetResponse in case you have a problem, and you can search for a topic right here. Uh, whenever you're in one of these home page you know, features, pricing, or, or partners, and you want to get back to the dashboard, just click on Dashboard, and it takes you right back to your welcome page. Okay, so this is what you're going to see every time you log in to GetResponse. You can add contacts, create a web form, send a newsletter, and you can refer friends. Um, you can see down here where each individual user will have added X number of subscribers, either today or yesterday, and you can change the history right here to see how many contacts have been added. Uh, but before we go ahead and we add contacts into GetResponse, we need to make sure we're in the right campaign. A campaign is a name that integrates a related list of emails that are being sent out to a specific group of subscribers. Um, to see which campaign you're in, you can take a look at this box, or we can click on this triangle here, and we can either create a new campaign or go take a look at our existing campaigns list. Let's go to Create a Campaign, and we get to the Campaign Creation page. When you're typing in a name for your campaign, it has to be, over at the right here, uh, 3 to 64 characters, only lowercase letters, uh, numbers, and underscore signs. Um, in GetResponse, you cannot create a campaign name that exists anywhere within the GetResponse system, whether it's your campaign or your account or anyone else's account. If the name exists in the GetResponse system, it cannot be duplicated, uh, no matter whose account it is. So that's one you know, a little a bit of a drawback with this software. Um, to see what campaigns you currently have, come back up to the little triangle here and go to your campaigns list. And you can see here I've created a campaign name and I've set it to the default. Um, when you don't when you do not have a campaign set as as default, you can view its contacts that are in it, you can change the settings or you can delete it. So let's go back, now that we know we have this selected, let's go back to the dashboard. And now we can take a look at actually adding contacts. We can either search, add, import, or copy contacts between campaigns. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we import contacts into GetResponse.